everybody, this is Rhonda with Corey and Rhonda team, Utah Dream Properties and Keller Williams Realty. And today I'm coming to talk to you to give you tips to prepare to purchase a house. So make sure you stick around. Some of these tips might surprise you. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Okay, so today we are coming to talk to you about tips to prepare to buy a house. So remember, we're in the preparation stage here. We wanna get you set up the best that we possibly can so that you're ready to purchase. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, and you're gonna think this is very basic, but there's a reason behind this. We want you to call us first, even if it's way in advance of when you think you're going to be able to purchase, call us because what happens usually is people, especially if you're a planner like I am, you're going to want to get everything set first before you even start looking. What I mean by that is sometimes people will pay off all their credit cards, they'll think that they have to pay off their car, they think that they have to save for this huge down payment. In reality, that might not be the case for you. And while you're spending your time and interest rates are still low, prices are going up, and you're spending time saving up for this down payment or paying off certain things that you think you have to pay off, you may not need to. So call us first. We will put you in touch with one of our local trusted lenders here that can just have a conversation with you and your specific circumstance and say, okay, you want to buy a year from now? This is what I would do. And they will set you up for success. Okay, so the first tip was to give us a call so that we can kind of talk about your situation, your timeline, we can put you in touch with a local lender. The second step is when you speak to that lender, really tell him or her what price point you are comfortable paying per month, and then they will base your pre-approval off that. So sometimes what happens is we just give all of our information and we say, hey, tell me what I'm qualified for. And it might come back way higher than your comfortable spending. So we want you to be in a price point that is comfortable for you so that when we start looking at homes, we're looking at the right homes that, that fit your price point and your budget. And what most people do is really they start looking at homes way in advance of when they're going to purchase. And it's really difficult if you're looking at homes at a certain price point and then you find out you're really comfortable in a lower price point. So I would say... Find out where that price point is first so that we can set you up on the correct searches and so that you are searching for something that is reasonable within your budget. So the next tip is, and maybe you're going to see a theme here because I'm a planner myself, is to let us know in advance because we want to make sure, like we said before, we want to make sure that you're pre-approved and we get all the timing correct. Sometimes, believe it or not, it might make sense financial sense for your specific situation to break a lease. We've had some clients do that simply because rates are so low right now and prices are increasing. So sometimes the longer you wait, depending on what the market's doing right now, it's December, 2020. So our market is still going up and rates are still for VAs depending on your credit score. I always want to use that as a disclaimer, but a lot of our clients are in the twos right now. So instead of waiting for four or five, six months, we don't know what rates are going to do there. So Again, it all comes down to preparation and planning. When you're searching for homes, it, now we know what your price point is, right? So when you're looking for homes in that price point, is to really sit down and we talk about our must-haves. So everybody has wants and then you have your must-have. So really make a list for things that you are not going to compromise on. So for a lot of our, our buyers, garage is usually pretty important or at least covered parking for somebody. So that might be something, for example, that you don't want to compromise on. So make a list of those must-haves, those items that you don't want to compromise on, and then make another list of maybe bonuses. So for an example, um, you know, like I said, a lot of people want garages. Maybe a bonus would be a third car garage. But if you found a house with a two car, and it has everything else, would you still buy it? And if the answer is yes, then that third car garage would be a want and the garage would be a must have. So that we found really important. Throughout the years, we found that having a list of wants versus must haves really, I mean, it obviously helps us as agents set up your search, but it really helps you as a buyer prevent frustration and wasted time looking at properties that maybe aren't going to work for you anyway. So we really want to make your time efficient and we want this purchase process to be fun. So the more preparation we do up front, the better set you are set up to purchase and the better we're set up to help you purchase. We put out new videos every Friday. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, feel free to contact us at any time. We've got our number, our website, 
Um, send us a text, send us an email, whatever's easier for you. People contact us all the time and we would love to help you too.